travelled along the Murray in February, March 2016. And when you're at Chuka, you have to go for a cruise on a paddle steamer. I just love watching the engines, fantastic pieces of engineering. There are lots of other paddle steamers, but 28 I think are now based at the Chuka. This one was restored, cost over four and a half million dollars. feet high and it used to be three times this length but in the Second World War they took the wood away for the war effort. Pretty incredible piece of engineering. They get lots of floods and here's the 1870 marker and then below it there were a couple in the 1970s all of them a long way above the current water level. Over at Swan Hill, the gem unfortunately is no longer operational. It's a very large paddle steamer with uh, accommodation staterooms on two levels, two decks. Unfortunately, the engine has been taken out. The birds don't seem too perturbed about that. And there's nothing there to drive the crankshaft. The paddle wheels still waiting for action. There is one paddle steamer that takes uh, cruises along the Mary. That's one hill. We've also got an example of the old barges they used to pull. Quite big. At the Pioneer Settlement, they've reconstructed a country town. In this ironclad house. It's all very nicely furnished. Out the back uh, where the uh, wooden planks used for the walls are covered with five or six layers of newspaper. You can still see the date, in this case 1937. In the main hall is an example of the old stereoscopic theatre with views from all around the world. At the back of the chemist there was a dentist. I'm thankful things have changed a bit. The settlement's on the site of the old homestead, which is there. And if you look at this little wall, it's actually Mallee roots, which you could burn them and stay warm in the winter. The kitchen is outside in its own building, a mud hut building, just for fire protection. some examples of the Aboriginal occupation there. Here's a happy and a canoe. This is carved out from the bark 
and you see this tree where the bark's been taken for the canoe. This old tree is long gone. <laughs> it was also an example of a very early caravan. I don't know as a standard of accommodation would be approved by the Des caravanners. There's a great section of old machinery, some old steam engines which are working, some which need a bit of renovation. There's also a great collection of old tractors, petrol and kerosene. And just across from them is a collection of old farm implements. All of these are quite fascinating and why they were designed you can spend 10 minutes describing each one. A no pioneer collection would be complete without a series of wagons, carts, uh, buggies and carriages. <laughs> 